Mind of cruise, mind of cruise, mind of cruise, bop bops you up. What is your opinion on chemtrails? My opinion on chemtrails, they don't exist. There are no secret planes giving you pesticides poisoning you. But I do know there are pesticides that are poisonous in the world. I do know there's global warming. I do know some of the effects of global warming are reversible and irreversible. I know we can find more green energy. We can reduce climate change. And I do believe with science help solar and finding alternative energy. I do believe that's possible. And I know that secret planes don't seem plausible. And I know, I think there's extraterrestrial life in spacecrafts, but I don't think there's secret planes poisoning it. It, the idea of chemtrails came from Hitler and Mussolini and also some fundamentalists in America. And a chemtrail was a fear afraid of all systems. And they think, country believers, think dictatorship might be free in you. I don't think that's true, to be honest. Dictators are not about equalness. Dictators enslave people. That's slavery, actually. You say that's human? Well, look into yourselves, you savages. Look into humanity. And don't be a savage. Understand, there's things to think about more. Climate change is more of a thing to think about. Don't think about what doesn't exist. Think about what exists. And that's something Christians and Buddhists, and some fundamentalists, some fundamentalists are the opposite, and believe. Some are the opposite fundamentalists. Are really, some of them are the opposite about it. Think about climate change. And that's different. And it's not always a bad word to be fundamental, but sometimes it is a bad word. And that's a surprise. And that's society for you. And that's remarkable. And even if you're not a fundamentalist, you, you still have fundamental beliefs. And that's still part of you, no matter what. Fundamental belief is just a belief you feel fundamentally in line with something. It doesn't have to mean to that religion they say is that, yeah. And spirituality is something that's more crazy than you realize. Yep. That. How, what makes you think there are no chemtrails? Because I know global warming. I felt global warming. I didn't see those. I felt global warming. I feel like global warming. I feel the feelings of global warming. Yeah, but how do you know the government's not doing it? Because I know myself well. Because you need a government. It's for the people, by the people, supposedly. Some parts of the government I think are poisonous or the lies. Read. It's more of our poison that we create psychologically. And there is, is chemicals, don't you worry, mind. There are oil spills. There was Exxon Valdez. I do believe there are toxic things that we've spilled from oil mistakes, and that's happened. No questions. That's actually happened. No question. Radiation sickness we've had. No question. Well, I don't know how you can say for sure that the, they're not doing chemtrails in the sky. I know they're not real, because I believe aliens wouldn't poison us secretly. The aliens are actually helping us. And that's believable. Aliens are trying to help us. If we're trying to figure out climate change. They are helping us. Well, I don't think it's aliens doing the chemtrails. I think it's the government. <laughs> I ha have to do you agree to disagree with Dave Mustaine. I know chemtrails are not real. And I know Megadeth claims. Dave Mustaine claims they're real. I just don't think that's real. And it's not real. I just think there are conspiracies our government has created, like the Bush years have created conspiracies from the Bush family. And there's been some conspiracies created from Reagan, like Reaganomics. There are some government conspiracies politicians have made in America and other countries. But conspiracy is a bunch of like a few people makes conspiracies. 
with two guys to make conspiracies. And there are some shady things to our government, like greed and embezzlement, like Enron. The thing that's not a scam of the government is disability rights, gay rights. Wanting green energy is not a scam. One health with arts and education is not a scam. A science is not a scam. Healthcare, every free healthcare is not a scam, in theory. And activism is not a scam. And government's not all scam. But the scam part of the government is greed. Well, I see chemtrails in the sky. Hard to believe it. Like Danny Monster Cruz, I'm going to open my mind. Just realize they could be real, even though it's not a thing I'm ready to hear about. I know they're not real. I don't think they're real. Some people grow up with me think, Danny, please believe in chemtrails. They might be real. I just think not. I've always disagreed with that. And I know that they're going to prove them wrong. I know they're not real. But some people claim it. But I don't know if they're right about it. To be honest, they're not real. And I'm going to say that again. I ain't going to be open minded about it. They're not real. And that's my mixed feeling. I understand. And it's hard. I'm an environmentalist, but I know doomsday is not happening. I know, seriously, there's, the world's not going to end in a hundred years. The world's going to end some billion years. In the end of days, in some billion years, the human race is going to end. I do believe there will be an end of the world in billions of years, but it's not going to be called like doomsday exactly. The world will end at one point, sometime. And I know we're not going to have doomsday. It's not going to be a certain date. It's just going to be some billion years. We just need this world gone. I do think we're going to have a world that doesn't exist someday. And I do know a lot of people, Derek, Derek and a lot of the band, we don't quite believe in chemtrails, but we try to open our mind to accept those guys who believe in it. And it could be real to some people, but I don't think it's real. And I do think Maybe in some billion years. Who knows what happens in some billion years? I know the sun's going to burn out, but that's not really just doing the chemtrails or anything. The world, the Earth just erodes. That's natural. The world's eroding. And that's a natural thing in society. The worlds do erode. And, and one, someday the world will end, but in a more like way we don't know, in a more unknowing way. That's what the other world's about. Unknowingly, the sun's going to burn. And you're just going to die peacefully. And, and that's not a bad thought. You die peacefully, it's not a bad idea. The truth is, I see those planes way up in the sky creating trails. I don't know what trails they're making or what that stuff is. But I think it's odd that none of us seem to know what it is. What do you think? To me, it's that planes when they fly make mist, and it's called mist, and it's plain mist. It's not really chemtrails. It's called it's mist. There's really condensation planes cause, and that's condensation. Who's flying those planes, and where are they going? What are they doing? Those are people flying on regular flights make that. When you fly ordinary, it makes that. When you're flying... It gives you, steam comes out of jet engines. Heat comes out of jet engines. Regular planes don't do that. Jet engines do. Jet fuel is fossil fuel. That's what it is. That kept, it's fossil fuel coming out of the, the wings. I, I think it's methamphetamine. No, that's not methamphetamine. That's what they call carbon dioxide. That's what they call. That's what they call CO2. Mm. That's what they call pollution. Mm. That's not. That's called pollution. Pollution is what's coming from the sky. And that's kind of sad. But I, I don't know, jet planes can change, but it's not totally to blame on like jet planes. It's to blame on global warming itself, kind of blames it too, you know. And that's called pollution. And that's smog. It's, it's smog from an airplane. So chemtrails aren't real? No, it's pollution. Okay.
Sorry to say so. Thank you. You felt the way you know it's pollution, really, in reality. I am not sure. It's pollution. I know it is. Cause I know pollution. I don't know anything about those peculiar planes. Say something. Uh, peculiar planes is a fascinating theory to me. It seems fascinating, even if it's not totally real. That's, it's a fascinating concept to think about. It's fascinating. What if that was the case? I don't think they're secret planes, but who really knows sometimes what's real? Maybe, I think secret planes are not real, but they, I don't think they're real. But there could be a slight chance they might be real in some billion years. I do think in some billion years there could be secret planes, but I don't think anytime soon. I do think there could be some sort of secret plane, but I don't know. They might be called extraterrestrial secret planes.